welcome back to my channel. This video is about uh, electrical back boxes. Basically, how to make the knockout, the entry for the cable into the back box properly. So, um, I decided to make this video because uh, when I work at Cross Kent, so I saw so many damaged accessories, especially the back boxes. I've got five different back boxes here, each are different mounting. Uh, which is for different applications. Some are for plaster boards, some for uh, solid brick wall. Uh, brick wall. Uh, some are for outdoor. So I'm gonna show you uh, all of them uh, one by one. And I hope uh, you find this video interesting. So these are the five types of the back boxes that I'm gonna show you. This one is surface mounted for the hollow walls or plaster boards or dry lining. This one is uh, for solid brick wall outside junction box and the outside outdoor socket outlet and I've got also some glands and grommets I'm gonna show you how to fit them into these bay boxes so the first one is for the solid brick wall uh, galvanized steel as you see completely metal and it's got four entries on top for the cable uh, four on the bottom four in the middle two on each side you see there are pre-cut holes in this metal box so to make an entry for the cable in this type of uh, metal back box so you should put it on the hard surface you use a screwdriver a hammer and you just need to a little punch and as you see this comes off so now we just need to twist it up and down and this comes off. And you've got a nice entry for the cable. And then before installing this uh, onto the wall, so you need to use a rubber grommet. It fits perfectly in this hole. And this is just for the protection for the cable. So when the cable enters the back box, so the insulation of the cable doesn't touch the you know the sharp edge of the metal back box. Now let's do this one dry lining box. Um, you see it's got just three entries but quite wide so you can put two wires each. So to cut this you just need a standing knife cut these bits this on the bottom and that's it and you've got a nice hole for two or even three cables or if you prefer to use this one in the middle So obviously in this back box there is no holes for the drilling this to the wall as you put it into the hollow wall, dry lining wall. So you need to cut a, a hole the same as the box, slide it in and then these two yellow bits you just need to push it in like this and this should hold the, the back box onto the plasterboard and that's it. So the next one is a surface mounted uh, back box. So this is quite fragile plastic so you have to be careful when you're making a holes or when you drill it to the wall. So the holes for the screws to fix it to the wall is just here. So you just need to punch it with a little screwdriver. So the entries for the cables you've got obviously this bit in the middle, then six on top, six bottom and two on each side. So obviously in this entry the plastic is much much thinner so you just need to push your screwdriver into here. Then you need to remove this bit as well. So I'm using small pliers to do it.
and you've got the entry for the cable. Obviously this there has to be some trunking on the cable because this, this is like surface mounted so the cable will be on top of the wall. Let's make another one. So when you fix uh, this kind of back box onto the wall, so obviously you use the electric drill. Just don't go to the end with the drill, as you might easily crush the plastic. So I just leave a bit of the screw and then just tighten it manually. So then you can control the pressure and don't you don't crush the this plastic. So with this bag box, most, most probably you're gonna use this kind of trunking. So this should go exactly up to the against the, this box. Then obviously you slide the cable into it. You close it, and I would use just a bit of silicone just to seal this gap between the bag box and the trunking. If you don't use trunking, so I would use white silicone and seal the entry all around the cable as obviously you don't want any dust going into the socket outlet. So here I've got two outdoor equipment. This is a double socket for the outdoor and this one is a outdoor junction box. So the double socket's got uh, Three entries or knockouts on the top, three on the bottom, two on the side and one in the middle. And this kind of back box, uh, you see, this is already cutted, so it doesn't need any tool uh, if you want to enter the cable from the, on the, any of the sides. So you just need to use a bit of pressure and just push this outside, this little cap, and the hole is already made. And if you want to use the middle one, so this is obviously for the cable um, entering the uh, back box straight from the wall. Uh, so then I would suggest to use the uh, 20 millimeter hole saw just to drill in this plastic. So if you want to use twin and earth cable uh, for outdoor socket, so then obviously this has to be in a this has to be mechanically protected. So I would fit it into the conduit. Uh, plastic conduit and then you need to use a male adapter for the conduit So this fits the 20 mil uh, hole Perfectly then you need you need to use this plastic nut just to tighten it And then I would use some silicone all around this edge just to protect just for double protection uh, against the weather conditions, the rain or whatever. And then the twin and earth goes through the conduit into this bag box. And then for this kind of electrical boxes, you can also use, a, uh, as you see, this is a plastic gland. Uh, it's got one nut in front, so you fit it the same way as the connector I showed you before. And on the other side it's got another nut and there's a like a rubber washer inside here. What it does when you put the cable through here, so when you tighten this nut, obviously the rubber washer uh, becomes smaller and smaller and it tights around the cable. So this is like even better is a completely watertight. I show you. <coughs> Let's say I've got this cable going into this box. 
then when you've tied it, you see there's no gap between the rubber washer and the cable. Obviously you can pull it in and out unless you tighten it even more. So this fits also a 20 millimeter hole. And the last bit I want to show you is a little junction box 65 by 65 millimeters uh, from Schneider Electric. It's rated IP55, so it's for outdoor use as well. It's ideal for lighting circuits. When you drill it to the wall, you've got uh, plastic caps that you just put on top of this, so this uh, is quite water resistant. Uh, and it's got rubber grommets in here, so it's really quick to install. You just need a screwdriver, make a hole through this grommet, and then you can easily push the cable into the box. Then when you close the lid, so it's quite watertight. So with this junction box you can use the uh, conduit adapter, the same as I show you with the socket outlet. As well as the plastic gland. And I've got two more seals that I want to show you. These two items are from MK, uh, MK Master Seals. So this is for the um, conduct as well. It fits this box perfectly. Um, the same as this for flat cable. You can put 2.5 twin net in it. So there's many options with this junction box. However, these two MK master seals you won't be able to use uh, in this BG box uh, as the entry is exactly 20 mil. This will fit 20 to 23 mil. This is a 23 mil. Unless you make this hole a bit bigger, I'm using a cone uh, drill bit. So then you can fit both the flexi conduit adapter or the flat cable seal. So I hope this video was interesting and helpful. So if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you for watching.